name is Benjamin Pang. Uh, I've been working in the investment banking industry for over eight years. And so for the last uh, few years, couple of years, I've been focusing on running my uh, shop.com franchise. And I also teach people how to do the same, you know, uh, so that they don't have to work for somebody else. They can be an entrepreneur and control their time and lifestyle. Um, so that's what I'm doing currently. And of course, a lot of you can relate, you know, I, I got to work and I got home. Um, and what do you, what do you think, you know, if anything's going to change in the next five years, if you keep doing the same thing, right? So that's why I started my business and uh, it's been going great. So today, um, so today we're going to talk about five tips, okay, to build a business part time. Okay. And of course, um, if you think that this is, uh, this might benefit your, uh, your friends, uh, share on your Twitter now. Okay. So if you are a, uh, an iPhone user, then swipe to the left. And if you use Android, then just swipe up and hit share. Okay. Now, okay. So we're going to talk about the five tips to build business part time. And of course, if you have a job, which a lot of us do tap the screen. And so, you know, you let me know that. You guys all have a job and then we are on the same situation. Um, so a, a lot of us do, right? And we keep doing the same. Um, and then we keep going to work back and forth. And have we ever asked, you know, why, right? Why are we going to work? Why are we doing, uh, working for somebody else? And the paycheck is always the same, right? And, you know, if you're lucky, you get 5%. Some of my friends, uh, you know, get 1%, which is a joke. And uh, to be honest, some, some of the people get fired. Um, you know, two of my managers in investment banking, they got fired because, uh, you know, the company is downsizing and there's no stability. The, you know, the company just treat you as a number, right? Um, so, I mean, um, you know, we go back and forth, back and forth between work, home and work. And that's why, you know, uh, have we ever thought of starting our own business, right? Um, so if you do, tap the screen, let me know. And we're going to start, okay? We're going to start, you know, talking about five tips to build a business part-time because we all work, you know, 40 hours a week, right? At least 40 hours a week. And then how do we get time to build our own business, right? Uh, and this year, 2016, has never been a better time um, to be an entrepreneur because you can see how many stars start up out there uh, is um, you know is, is going uh, uh, to the market and you can see like different products and services and and a lot of people might say you know it's the same old you know every year is the same you know there's a lot of new businesses coming out but if we do the work if we start our own business I'm sure we're gonna be prospecting uh, this year Okay, so, so we're going to go over the five tips. And um, let me see. And if you guys have any questions, definitely, you know, um, you know text it. And if you um, have any questions afterwards, you can also go to my website, benjaminpang.com. And uh, you can hit contact and then shoot me an email. Okay? All right, so the first tip is to pick the right system. Right? Because there are a lot of business concepts out there. So which one are you going to go for? Um, so now you might want to, you might want to go into real estate, uh, open up a restaurant, invest in stocks. That's most of, you know, most of the time my friends tell me that. Okay. But ask, ask yourself, can you do that part time? Right. And second, if you stop putting time into the business, are you still going to make money? Right? Meaning, are you building an asset that will pay you for the rest of your life? Or are you just self-employed? And everything will fall if you're not there. Right? So think about real estate. If you stop selling apartments, stop selling houses, are you, you going to get paid? Are you going to earn money? So if the answer is no, you might want to move on to the next, uh, next thing. So, but how about restaurants? Right? How many people can afford... Um, you know, quitting the job and have the capital to actually open up a restaurant. And not to imagine you have to hire the right chef, you have to hire people to work for you, and they might, you know, they might come and go. Um, and interest, you know, interesting fact is that um, I heard an interesting story today uh, from somebody I met uh, at the cafeteria. He actually worked there, okay? And he's a chef and he told me that he used to own 
uh, four restaurants in Manhattan. So they're all, uh, they're all, uh, you know, Japanese restaurant and nightclub and you know different kind of things. So he made a lot of money on the first three restaurants, right? And uh, you know things are doing well, but on the fourth restaurant, actually, um, you know the rent got so high that he ended up selling his first three restaurants to cover the loss. And you know after that, he basically has to go back to working. So ask yourself, are you willing to take the risk, right? So for me, I picked shop.com because it's home-based. Um, as you can see, I'm running my business at home, you know, on the internet, it's an online business, and that's something that I can do part-time, that I can manage. You know, sometimes I actually, you know, run my business at work, um, too. Um, so, and then it will scale, right? It fits into my schedule, and you want, you want your business to scale, right? If you run your business, and you're going to forever get 30000 every single year, why would you want to run your business, right? You want to have the time freedom and also the lifestyle you want. So find something that will scale. And for shop.com, we definitely scale to a six, six figure uh, ongoing income uh, because it's online and because of the business concept behind it. And that's why I uh, look into it. So um, the second tip, okay? The second tip is uh, work as if you're broke, okay? Incredibly broke. So, you know, why do I say that, right? Because do you feel comfortable when you get off work, right? And then uh, you might want to read a book. You want you might want to improve some of the, your skill set. Uh, but how many times you go, you turn on your screen, and then you ended up going to Netflix. You watch a movie, and then you do nothing for the night, right? So, um, so you have to work as if you're broken, and you have to get uncomfortable because if you're not uncomfortable, there's no motivation. There's no irritation because people are motivated to do something if they get irritated right if you're broke and then you have a paycheck to pay you know wouldn't you work harder at your business right to make more income definitely right and then if things are good then you just lay back and then there's no motivation inspiration and you wake up every morning and there's no urgency right and you do not want that you want to treat yourself you don't want to work as if you are very very broke and then you have no choice but to get the results, right? Otherwise, you'll be in trouble, okay? Now, the third tip is to schedule your work in line with your goals, okay? Why do I say that? Because a lot of time we have goals, um, you know, people that start their own business, they wanna make, you know, $5 million on the first year, right? And they're gonna change the world. They're gonna have the best product or the best service. Um, but ask yourself, Right? If you just set the goal and then after that, what you put into the business is not in line with your goal. It's not going to get to you know, what your goal uh, is, then you know, why are you wasting your time? Right? How much time, um, well, first of all, ask yourself, how much time do, we, do you need to develop uh, your own business? Right? Um, if it's 15 hours a week, then schedule ahead of time. Right? So put it into your calendar, like how much time... Uh, uh, during the day, during the week, or which time uh, in, and throughout the week that you're going to put in your time. So for me, um, it will be time before and after work, okay? Because, you know, I work 9 to 6, approximately 9 to 6, and morning is the best time, right? Because, you know, I wake up, I can, you know, go through some emails, uh, and then... You know, I can read some social media and see how my friends or followers are doing. And then I might reach out to them and see if I have something to say or if I have something to, that I can offer them. Right. And then in the afternoon, when I, when I have lunch break, I might post something uh, to connect with my followers. Right. Or my customers. So it might be a motivational post. It might be something that will benefit them. And uh, but it, it has to be you know, beneficial to your followers. Right. It might be something that interesting that I read online. Um, as well. So, you know, after work, of course, I can, uh, I meet up with my business partners and then uh, I have appointments, uh, maybe presentations, maybe training, uh, networking, you know, building my business. So these are the time that I give to my, you know, I invest on my own business, right? And also the weekend, you know, there, there are a lot of activities that, you know, going on the weekend, but you have to schedule ahead because whatever schedule gets done, right? You know, how many times you want to do something and then at the end of the day and then, you know, 
when before you go to sleep, you you, you will, you're like, oh shoot, I didn't do that thing because it's not on your calendar. So put it on your calendar. I use Google Calendar, but I also encourage you to have you know a paper calendar that you can write your things down, right? And so the fourth tip, okay, is to sacrifice now so that you can get what you want for the rest of your life, okay? It's all about sacrificing because, you know, imagine you have a plate full of, you know, things you want to do, okay? And you're putting something on and something, something that you want to invest in yourself, right? So let's say you're starting your own business. So if you don't sacrifice something, then, you know, you never get the time to do it. So let's say you have a family and you have kids and you, you have to tell them like 2016 will be your biggest year because you're going to make it, you're going to be focused on your business and be successful, right? And you don't want to, you know, go to the end of the year and regret not putting time into your business, regret not growing your business as fast as you want. So be honest with them, tell them that you, you're going to have less time together, you know, less watching movies, uh, Game of Thrones, whatever you're doing with your family. But it's gonna worth it because you're gonna have the time and financial freedom later on, right? And there's no pain, no gain. Okay. So we talk about you know the five uh, fourth tip, uh, fourth tip right now, which is you know, pick the right system uh, to be in uh, to run your own business and work as if you are broke, right? Because that gives you the urgency and schedule your work in line with your goals because you're building realistic and you have a plan towards what you want to achieve. You're not just thinking about it, okay? And fourth is to sacrifice now so that you can get what you want the most in the future, okay, for the rest of your life. So now, the, the fifth point is to leverage all technology to improve your efficiency and exposure. Okay, why do I say that? Because you're running a business part-time, so how do you Leverage your time, leverage what you do right now, and still get the effects, you know, exponentially down the road. So, uh, something like this, something like this video, you know, after this, you know, uh, I will, I'm going to post on YouTube, going to link to my blog, and going to repurpose my content so that more viewers is going to see it, right? So, it's going to reach more audiences. So, so, um, so you know, what if you have to upload your video to YouTube, right? Uh, to Facebook, to your blog, Medium is new thing that you wanna you wanna get onto, and whatever channels you're on, right? How many more views? Ask yourself, how many more views are you gonna get, right? Hundred times more, or a thousand times more, right? You're gonna get so much, you know, eyes on your content. And you're leveraging your time because you do it once. Remember, you're leveraging your time and then you build this business part time. So you're spending, let's say, half an hour to do something and then you still want to benefit from the same thing over and over again. Okay? So definitely leverage technology, leverage social media because Periscope is a great thing because you can reach out to so many people and after that, they can still watch what you have shared later on. So, I, um, so, you know, I can take 20 minutes and I could get 200, well, you know, hours worth of leverage, right? So leverage is a big word and you always want to leverage your time, okay? So understand whatever you do, uh, find a way that not only leverage time you spend, but increase distribution of your content, okay? So more people can see, see it, right? More viewers. Uh, more exposure and more people know what you're doing and then in return if you're giving value to your followers your visitors um, then you know then they're gonna look into your products or services right so um, again what I've talked about today is pick the right business system to get in right and work as if you're broke you know, to get the urgency and schedule your work, right, in line with your goals, in line with what you want to achieve by the end of this year, right? And sacrifice now so that, you know, you can enjoy the rest of your life, you know, whatever you want the most, right? Maybe you want to, you want to spend a lot of time with your family, you want to travel, you know, around the world. If you work for your whole, you know, if you keep working, you never get the time to do that. So you have to sacrifice time to build your own business and later on you will benefit. You will enjoy it for the rest of your life. And uh, uh, number five is leverage technology, leverage social media to gain more exposure, more eyes to your content, okay? So that more you can get more customers, 
uh, or you know more whatever you're doing right I'm building a network I'm uh, trying to tell people uh, you know my business my products and my services and you know if you repurpose your content more people are gonna see it okay it's always about repurposing okay now um, that's all the five tips that I have to give you and uh, thank you for watching the broadcast and if you have any questions or want to reach out to me go to benjaminpang.com 